Hi everyone. Today I want to talk to you about a very useful meditative process called RAIN, R-A-I-N. It's from my favorite meditation teacher, Tara Broth, and it's featured in a lot of her podcast meditations um, and her most recent book, Radical Compassion. This is a useful process when we are experiencing difficult emotions, when we feel like we are stuck in a situation and want more clarity, or simply when we want to understand um, the story that we're telling ourselves in a particular scenario. So I'm going to explain what RAIN is in the next minute. RAIN stands for Recognize, Allow, Investigate, and Nurture. It is a process that you can do comfortably uh, lying in bed or sitting um, with your leg crossed or on the floor. Preferably, you want to be in a place where it's quiet and undisturbed. You can close your eyes or you can leave your eyes open or even journals. So we first start with recognize. Recognizing what is here. What are you experiencing? What are the emotions that is going through you? Is it anger? Is it sorrow? Or frustrations? You know, all of them, all of them is welcome. The next step allows is exactly to allow yourself to feel these emotions. When we are experiencing difficult emotions, we have the tendency to avoid or to disengage because we don't want to feel unpleasant. But it's really crucial for us to stay in this moment, allowing ourselves to process this emotion, which is trying to tell us something. So naturally, it leads to the next step, which is to investigate. Investigate is to ask yourself some questions such as, what is it the worst part for me here? And where is it showing up in my body? What are the sensations that I'm feeling in my body? There's a lot of wisdom with connecting ourselves with the body sensation because our body is trying to tell us something. Again, we typically disengage and don't want to feel those unpleasant sensations. But if we allow ourselves to tap into those, we will find that actually it is not as bad as we think. Investigating also means that you can see your part that you play in the whole story and also maybe the other person's perspective. So what is it like to be the other person in their shoes? Now the final part is nurture. Imagine somebody that you know really cares about you, your loved one or a really dear friend. What would they offer you in this critical moment? Maybe they will encourage you with some nice sentences or you can experience by simply put your heart, hands on your heart and feel the warmness of your hand offering to your body. What is the most loving and compassionate things you can say to yourself at this moment? A very basic encouragement such as, it's okay, would really help you to relax and to ease into the painful moment. Now the next step is what Tara called after rain. After rain is to simply sit in this quiet and calm space. It doesn't mean that you no longer feel the emotions that you're feeling, but you generally feel more at ease with that. So it's also a really good time to find gratitude in your heart. What can you be grateful for? And it's not all bad. If you are generally, this is a good time for you to compare when you first started to process how you're feeling and how you're feeling now. I hope you find this process useful. If you do practice this, please let me know how it is for you. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.